530, a federal judge in Miami has ruled that four of the largest cruise companies engaged in tourism to Cuba, even though it was illegal. They also gave millions of dollars to the Cuban regime. NBC 6's Steve Litz has been following this for us since this morning, live for us from Port Miami. Hey, Steve. And hi, this is an American company now suing cruise industry giants, you know the names, Carnival, MSC, SA Cruise Lines, Royal Caribbean, and also NCL. Those are the four defendants, this man who was forced from his facility, which he operated back in Cuba way back in 1960. Well, he still owns the entity, and he's suing those cruise lines, accusing them of using his facility and not paying him. The picture of American-owned company Havana Docks, a seaport terminal in Cuba, comes right out of their lawsuit against four major cruise lines. A 169-page complaint with a portion of the judge's ruling reading, because Havana Docks is not receiving the benefit of its interest in the terminal and defendants, the cruise line's subsequent trafficking in the confiscated property has undermined Havana Docks' right to compensation. The lawsuit claims between 2015 and 2000. 2019, cruise lines sailed to Cuba and used Havana docks built back in the early 1900s, which was owned by an American man. The facility was then confiscated by the Castro government in 1960. Attorney Michael Winkleman specializes in these types of cases. He's saying, hey, this was mine. It was improperly taken away from me. And under U.S. law, there's a federal law that says basically if someone else is profiting from what the Cuban government did, I'm entitled to damages based on that. Cruise lines with American ties have made millions of dollars in their sailings to Cuba, and so has Cuba's communist government. Cuban spirit. During the Obama administration, travel restrictions eased, and Americans were permitted to sail to Cuba for humanitarian, religious, or other specific reasons. Tourism, though, was never permitted. The judge, in her order, wrote cruise lines were, in fact, engaged in tourist activities. Orlando Gutierrez, an advocate for people who lost their livelihoods to the Castro regime, says there's more to come. Investors of owners whose properties were stolen by this communist regime, uh, many of them are already in court, and I think this will help the case of all those who had their, their life work, their, their, their legacy, stolen by this regime. In those court documents, the cruise lines argue that they operated in accordance with the U.S. laws and uh, they operated their businesses properly. This case now still moves forward. We had the judges ruling late yesterday. Next up now, a jury will decide the financial damages. How much money the cruise lines owe the owner of that facility? That could be in the tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. And if it does not involve a jury decision, then this matter will be settled out of court. We'll let you know what happens. Live at Port Miami, I'm Steve Litz, NBC6 News. Yes, yeah, stay on it for us, Steve. Thank you.